Okay. Today I am looking I'm talking about I'm going to be talking about the book, another book which I read a while ago about uh, the stock market and yeah, and shares and investing in the stock market. The book is called The Security Analysis. It's another book written by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd. It's, I think it's, it was written after The Intelligent Investor or below, before The Intelligent Investor. I did a review of The Intelligent Investor, I think last week or the week before, I think it's the other video. You can go check that video out. It's more or less similar to the intelligent investor, but this one is more in detail. If you thought intelligent investor was a, a tough read, then this one is definitely going to be a challenge <laughs> because it dives deep into financial markets and everything. It even goes into bonds, if you know what are bonds. It goes to all sorts of securities that you can trade in the stock market. The book was published, the first publishment was in 1934, if I'm not mistaken. Over the years, it has been updated and updated. I think they have, I don't know how many times they've updated now. Yeah, so it's a great book to, to read if you want to learn about the stock market the book is about 700 to a thousand pages i think 700 the first one the 1934 one is about 700 pages or 750 pages the remastered one with uh, commentaries uh, from different uh, investors and a commentary from Benjamin Graham and David Dodd. That one is, a, I think it's a thousand pages. So it's pretty long. It's a tough read. It has calculation and financial uh, advice and all the principles. So there are few concepts in the book. There are few things which you will learn about in the book. One of them will be the intrinsic value versus a uh, market price. The lesson there is that you need to always be able to focus on the intrinsic value of the stock or of the company instead of the market price of the company because that's when, that's how you will be able to determine whether it's a good time to buy the, the stock or shares in that company or is it not a good time to buy the stock. It, the book also teaches you about margin of safety which is also in the intelligent investor. So yeah, invest with a margin of safety by purchasing securities at a significant discount to their intrinsic value. So once you learn how to value the stock and the, in, its, in, its intrinsic value, you need to be able to always buy stocks that are below their intrinsic value. That, that increases your chances of making enormous returns on your stock purchases. The book also goes into details about quantitative and qualitative analysis. So it teaches you how to combine both uh, and read financial statements, uh, financial ratios and all this stuff and analyze and get the full picture of the company operations and its profit, how profit it is, how profitable the company it is and all that stuff. And uh, it also helps you analyze making well-rounded investment decisions. So yeah, those are some of the things that the book teaches you. It, it also teaches you the importance of earnings and how important for a company to have uh, stable earnings which are growing per quarter or every year, if not per quarter. 
but it emphasizes the growth of earnings for companies. All right, uh, the book also goes into warnings. It also warns you of the dangers of speculation. Now, it does advise that you should stay away from speculation because speculation has a lot of high fees and it's a fool's game because you are trying to determine where the stock will go or where the market will go in a short while. Sometimes it's even hours or a couple of days, which is proven time and time again that it's quite impossible to know where the market is going in the short while. So yeah, you should stay away from speculation. And as I've said before, the book also teaches you the bo about bonds and the important role that bonds uh, play in your stock portfolio or in your investment portfolio. They stabilize your portfolio. It, it, they are very crucial. Bonds are very crucial in, in diversification when you try to diversify your investment portfolio. So yeah, the book also teaches you how to understand bonds and how bonds are priced and all that stuff, you know. It, it teaches you about uh, grade A bonds, A plus bonds, triple A, you know. You, if you didn't know, if you don't know these terms, yeah, I suggest you read the book and you'll understand what bonds are and how you can use them to diversify your investment portfolio and protect your capital basically uh, the book also goes into details about the impact of financial leverage it, it advises you that you shouldn't invest in companies that are over leveraged compared to their assets and you as an investor also you shouldn't over leverage your assets for, on investments so it also goes deep into that another matter that the book addresses is a uh, management matters that if you want to find good companies you need to look at management how good is management how honest is management how ethical is the management team on that company or stock that you want to buy shares in so it goes into details in with regards to all of that it also teaches you about dividend policies and reinvestment and how you can leverage that to grow your portfolio or to grow your, your capital rapidly or at a faster pace than, than ordinary returns because dividends are, 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 are another way of generating income for on your capital by not just holding the stock but also getting paid dividends every quarter. Some companies pay dividend every quarter some companies pay dividend like twice a year and some pay once a year and it teaches you how to analyze a, a company that pays good dividend and you should also be aware that of companies that increase their dividend every year or every quarter or yeah those are sound companies if a company is able to increase its dividend every year then that means your investment or the investment you've made in the company will also increase every year over time regardless of what the stock price does the book also goes into the importance of independent thinking not following the crowd on what's doing in these days people just follow the crowd as long as uh, and they don't do due diligence in uh, in research and see what the market is telling them they just follow the crowd if everyone is buying the stock uh, then everyone is buying and then people they tend to follow the crowd and also buy 
which is a bad idea so the book also goes into that the book is Tara it, it's Tara it goes deep into investment philosophies and everything it's another book that Warren Buffett recommends that if you want to learn about investing you should read it's the two books it's the intelligent investor and security analysis those are the two favorite books of Warren Buffett that he learned or he used to learn how to invest apart from going to a university and being taught by Benjamin Graham of course so yeah if you also want to learn about the stock market and how to pick your stocks and how to invest wisely I think these books will help tremendously so I'll just leave a, I'll just leave a link below of both the book the intelligent investor and security analysis so if you want to grab the book you can just click the links below in the description that's it today that's the book we were looking at or we are looking at security analysis if you enjoy these videos please do not hesitate to hit that like button subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications until our next video peace i'm out